Well, I for one am really glad that Real Illusion made the uh, destructible building props available uh, backstage so I could use uh, some of the points I had left over and uh, purchase individual pieces and parts to blow up. I love watching things blow up and explode. Cool. So I got uh, the concrete wall and the ceiling and the floor and whatnot and uh, thought, well, let's see if I can build a building and make it blow up easily and quickly. So uh, let's try that. Uh, I'm going to scale this wall down a little bit, a little narrower, not quite as thick, like so. And of course, I want to put a building texture on it. So uh, I'd like to go over to CG.com, and I found some building textures. I think that'll work OK. Kind of close to the appropriate ratio size of the wall. You can scale the wall a little bit, but uh, you can't scale it a lot because you want the uh, little pieces and parts to look correct when they blow up. Uh, now, one thing you know we always do when we bring in a uh, object we uh, at times past have uh, refresh the UV map, but uh, if you do that with one of these destructible props, uh, it doesn't work. If you try it, it uh, reveals uh, a strange uh, shape that it really is, so uh, we don't do it that way. We just do it the old-fashioned way and adjust the bitmap proportions correctly. So uh, I'm going to take it way down to uh, 0.2 or so. Or, and let's just see. Let's reposition here and uh, see how close we are. CG images, cgtextures.com, I believe, is a site I like to use for textures. I always have great textures. It's free and uh, they look pretty cool. So uh, let's see. I think I have another row of windows on top. So let's. Let's turn off the lock ratio and scale some more here. And there we go, getting closer. Yeah. Something along these lines will be okay. You'll tweak it some more, I'm sure. But uh, that gives us uh, an idea of a building. And of course, it is the same on front and back. So. Uh, that's a problem. You have to make some adjustments. Uh, you do have an interior layer uh, of this the brick color, so you can change that texture. That gray there can be changed, so that's cool. But uh, So there's uh, at least our front wall. Uh, let's go ahead and duplicate that. I'm going to hold down the control key and just make a duplicate by using the left mouse. And let's make sure our rotation is uh, 90 degrees, typically, and it happens to be. So now we've got another wall. And of course, you'll probably want to do this a few more times to make all four walls. Uh, and of course, uh, it's the same texture on that side, so you might want to find another texture. And let's get the uh, light around here. There we go. Okay, so you can see that wall like so. So let's grab another texture. And I've got one here I modified in Photoshop. Uh, of that same texture, and so now we've got, you know, roughly, and we'll probably want to adjust it a little bit, but uh, tweak it to your heart's content. Uh, do some more work in Photoshop if you need to. Uh, get uh, things to line up, and yeah, you'll probably want to play with that some more to get the floors to line up correctly. For now, our purposes, that'll be fine. So, uh, okay, we've got uh, some walls. You'll add some more walls. Let me go ahead and slide this over. One thing I also got from the destructible props was uh, a ceiling. So uh, we can bring a ceiling into our building. And this is concrete ceiling 4-1. We'll double click on that. It's pretty big, so we'll probably want to scale it down some. And uh, get it to fit for a ceiling. Close and tweak it obviously to your heart's content. You can adjust the thickness a little bit, uh, like so. Okay, and you've got a ceiling now. And uh, once again, if you uh, right click on the object, hit perform explode, it will trigger the explosion. 
There we go. That was a little bit of a different time, but that can be adjusted. Uh, you'll notice the other wall, even though I duplicated the front wall, it doesn't uh, duplicate the uh, performance of the explosion, so you'll have to do it again as well. So I hit perform and now it will explode. And sometimes you might want to stagger the explosion. This front wall goes first, this goes second, and that's easy enough to do. Uh, make sure you have the right object. That's the front wall, and there's the back wall. You can you know, slide the command bar, which represents the animation there. And, uh, and a little, little later might be nice. Uh, the ceiling, of course, uh, is going off. Let's see what time. It doesn't quite go off the right time, so we'll need to adjust it. Let's stagger these other explosions back a little further so they match up the wall a little better. And let's go to the front wall and hit the command and slide it back a little bit. And now, there we go, a little closer. Ceiling would probably go a little bit later than the other elements if things were collapsing. Uh, now let's notice what the ceiling is doing. It's going to collapse a certain level and stop. So let's make sure we have the uh, concrete ceiling selected. I'm going to get the command here and open up the transform tab. And so let's uh, see what happens here. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want that ceiling to... Uh, I'm going to take this wall here and delay it. I'm going to slide it back. I'm actually going to slide the other front wall back so I can see what's going on a little better. Now let's hit it here. And now the wall will collapse and it falls. And uh, falls okay. Let's say you wanted it to fall to a specific level of where a floor might be. Now, to quote an old Paul Simon tune, one man's ceiling is another man's floor. So let's take the ceiling, let's select it, let me hit the W key, and I'm going to hold down the control, and I'm going to drag a duplicate of that ceiling down here. And let's pretend it is a floor level. So now, when this ceiling collapses, uh, it's going to collapse and fall to the floor. Now, if you need to adjust the heights, that's real easy to do. Simply use the transform tab and uh, put a keyframe in where you want it to fall. But uh, just so happens, we kind of lucked out there, it kind of falls at the right level. Now we want the other floor, of course, to collapse at some point too, a little later. So let's make sure we've selected that ceiling, which has become a floor. And let's go ahead and hit the Perform tab and hit Explode. And let's let it explode. And uh, of course we don't want it to do that. We want it to uh, explode or collapse a little later. So let's slide the Perform animation tab and it falls and then it collapses. So something like that might be a little better. Once again, like so. Okay, now what's going to happen? That floor is going to go maybe to another floor. You would add another one, let's say. But this other floor is staying up in the air. And let's delay our explosions so we can see what's going on here. A little more. So that goes. We want this to go ahead and collapse with the other. So let's go back to our original ceiling and look at the transform. And so it's going to fall here. And let's, uh, let's put a keyframe right there. And then it's going to fall there. So let's go ahead and drag it down. Now you might want to rotate these floors around so these objects don't line up so nicely. And regularly that wouldn't be totally natural. And so now it's collapsing with the other floor. You can tweak your keyframes. Like so, yeah. Okay, getting there. So uh, what I was saying, uh, you could take this keyframe and let's go back to our top floor and uh, or let's rotate 90 degrees or so. And let's make sure it's 90 degrees. Let's bring it up here. It's a quicker way to do this, of course. But 270, okay. And let's make this 270. And this next keyframe is going to be, oops, 270. Let's go on there. So now let's see what happens. Collapsed, falls on the floor. There we go. 
and it doesn't quite line up. So that makes it look a little different. So there you go. And you'll want another floor and another floor, like so. So now let's get all, everything lined up so far explosion-wise. Let's go back to our original wall and bring it down a little closer to where it's supposed to go. And front wall, let's say, goes first. And let's slide it a little further. There we go. Okay, the front wall. Then the side wall. And of course, you'll have two other, two other walls to explode as well. End up a little too late there. Let's tighten them up a little tighter. There we go. And that falls. Okay, very cool. So once again, you'll repeat that a few times to get the entire building. We've uh, done a little tweaking now. You can see I've added another floor. And uh, let's see if we can get the uh, hits all to, cor to correctly line up. And, uh, the play and the first ceiling goes and the floor collapses and the next floor collapses everything goes down and that's all done simply by adding uh, transform keyframes to each uh, floor and level and uh, you can see this uh, bottom one here select that and here we have the explode animation happening and the keyframe there is holding it in position then it drops and it does a little bounce there actually you might want to do from time to time, but that's kind of close. And so now we've got the floors lined up, and uh, let's turn back on the uh, walls. And of course, as I said, you'll add two more walls probably. If you don't need them, don't do them, but uh, you'll probably want to do that. And uh, let's see. Now, another thing I like to do is uh, add some building elements, some beams, maybe some structures. So if you have SketchUp, it's a good idea to build just some uh, objects that might work. I put together some uh, beams and trusses and things. Uh, maybe bend them a little bit or tweak the shape. Uh, we'll size this up a little bit and uh, place these inside the framework of the building. And uh, giving yourself an idea, let's uh, turn that wall off and see what's going on. There we go and just copy a few of these around. Of course you can animate these elements with the wrong object as usual. And let's get the wooden frame. There we go. And hold down the control key and just drag and drag a few more around and uh, place them at various spots where it might be logical to have a wall or something. Probably want to rotate some of them around just to give a little bit of a different angle. Let's make sure 90 degrees on that, and uh, that, and uh, drag a few more around. And of course, now these can be animated and uh, wobble as things are collapsing, and that'll be a cool effect as well. And, uh, once you get all your walls positioned, that'll be pretty cool, I think. And look like there's some kind of support structure going on in the building. And so there we go. And as I say, I would animate these and kind of wobble them, tilt them, topple them over, and things go. But that'll give it a little extra on the uh, structure so it doesn't look like it's just built, built of rock. So you've got a little something going on there. Now, of course, you're going to want some uh, dust and maybe debris. Uh, you might go over to your particle effect and find something. I built uh, an exploding smoke uh, effect. And uh, let's just see how it looks. And uh, let's, let's just drag it over here. I'll turn it on so you can see the general shape of it. And there we are. So this is going to uh, create some cloud smoke, let's hope. And we'll position it wherever. Uh, since it was pre-built, it's going to come on at some point. So let's take a look at our emitter right here. That's when it's coming on. That's when it's going to go off. It might not be exactly right. It's a little late. So let's get it to hopefully where it is. There we go. It's going to happen, and let's position it. 
and I would position multiples of these different sizes. You might want a fire to go off inside as well. Um, and then we, of course, had the keyframe. Let's delete that keyframe. But you could have it. You could have the smoke move around. That'd be cool. So uh, here we go. And the smoke runs and it collapses. There we go. Probably don't want to obscure everything, but uh, eh, it would probably do a little bit of obscuring. So that can hide some defects too. And, uh, so there's a basic building going down. And that's pretty much what I did for the robot rampage.